Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me for this live chat from the University of New Mexico, where I'm attending the International ACAC conference uh, for the first time in, since, 20, in, since 2019. Uh, it's the first uh, international ACAC conference uh, that the University of New Mexico has actually been uh, wa waiting to host since uh, 2020 when it was called off due to the pandemic. Uh, today we're coming to you from the conference. It's uh, the first full day of the conference proper with uh, the first set of education sessions actually just underway. So we've stepped out from one of those to be able to do this live chat with you. Uh, today we're, we're talking about the conference on a number of different levels because uh, it's uh, one of the few uh, returns uh, to uh, conference life for international educators in the last few months. Uh, we started seeing a little bit of that with uh, the ARC conference last December, uh, and that's obviously a very different uh, group uh, typically than uh, we're seeing here. Uh, we saw at uh, NAFSA conference, obviously the largest uh, international ed gathering each year uh, in Denver at the end of May. Now, uh, what we're doing now, uh, and we're seeing today uh, with this international ACAC community, for those not familiar, it's the um, international school uh, college counselors uh, from around the world uh, in the United States, but also 80 different countries from around the globe uh, that are gathering here at the University of New Mexico, along with university and college university representatives from uh, not only the United States, but Canada, UK, um, and uh, some, a very few other uh, institutions from around the world as well. So uh, this gathering is uh, strictly focused on undergraduate students. So students coming out of secondary school from these secondary schools around the, around the world, uh, where these college counselors are, and looking for university places. So this group is, uh, a very tight-knit group, frankly. Uh, it's one of the first professional organizations that I uh, got involved with uh, back uh, in my earliest days at Marquette University. I remember going to my first international ACAC conference, probably at 1997 or 98. Uh, but this uh, this event is 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 certainly one that uh, the relationships here are ones that uh, are. Are very deep, and um, one of the things we, one of the things that uh, a lot of old timers like myself, who uh, I put myself in that category now, actually, uh, we're realizing as we, the more and more we go to these, it's same faces. It has been in the past, same faces, different places. As um, uh, particularly on the co college counselor side, uh, the staff uh, that come to these conferences tend to move around quite a bit uh, in the international school community. I had the pleasure of doing that myself. Uh, for the first two and a half years of uh, my marriage uh, with my wife, she, we were working at an in ACS uh, Cobham International in uh, Surrey, England. And she was teaching third grade. I was doing mostly admissions and some guidance work there. But now uh, that uh, we came back to the States, but others that get into that life uh, from the college counseling side or those from the university side that move to the college counseling side, they tend to move around uh, every two to three years. Uh, they're in a different place around the world. And you see uh, a lot of the, co the college counselors that you see at the fair. And we just had our, uh, this morning we had the college uh, counselor fair where the university reps got to go around and visit with uh, the school, school counselors uh, for places that they wanna come visit in the fall or firming up plans to connect with some of their, uh, their students that might be uh, planning to enroll this fall. So there's a lot of uh, excitement. Obviously being back in person for the first time since 2019 is a big deal uh, for this audience. And um, there, you certainly feel the energy and the relief. And uh, at the opening yesterday, there's um, uh, uh, there was some really uh, interesting performances. We found out uh, that we had the opening and closing of the opening session was from uh, a, flamenco, a flamenco group from the university. In fact, it's one of the only uh, degree programs in flamenco dancing in the United States. I think the only, uh, and they had a performance for us at the beginning and, uh, and ending of that opening session. So it was uh, very neat. And in fact, the statue you might see behind me uh, of the man and woman uh, performing a dance uh, is, is of those flamenco dancers. So uh, very, uh, very good to be here on a beautiful campus here, a very Adobe style, Southwest US focus. Um, and they brought that flavor to the opening ceremony, had uh, New Mexico, uh, Albuquerque's first poet laureate, uh, a graduate uh, of the University of New Mexico who uh, shares, uh, shares his thoughts uh, through poetry. 
uh, kind of slam poetry uh, stand up uh, uh, for us. Uh, and that was a really, uh, he shared one of the opening, one of the poems he does for uh, new students and parents during orientation each year for uh, new arrivals to University of New Mexico. Uh, so great location. I'm uh, looking forward to ex exploring the city a little bit more before uh, the conference ends Thursday night, Friday morning. But uh, the sessions are fantastic. Um, I'm actually sad that I'm missing this one right now. It started out very well. It's a uh, virtual engagement breaking up with you. Uh, it's not me, it's you. Uh, or it's not you, it's me. Uh, what are the, some of the lessons learned through virtual engagement over the last, uh, last, uh, last two years of the pandemic? And so we've, uh, uh, folks were posting, and it's really engaging. In fact, uh, there, these, this session is also, all the sessions are being offered, uh, education sessions are being offered um, virtually as well. And so there were a group of uh, 20, 25 people who were also connecting for this one particular session uh, that were contributing their thoughts on what the pandemic has taught them, lessons learned, positives and, and uh, negatives. So really encouraging to see uh, what's going on. Uh, in the industry and that uh, the shared frustrations of the past two years and the, sh and the success stories, frankly, uh, are really exciting to hear those results. Uh, for some institutions that uh, are not traveling yet, uh, that they're, they're still looking at virtual options for the, for the next year. So it's interesting to see what people are talking about on that front. Um, I will say that uh, some of the topics are very timely. Uh, in our profession and in international education, we saw didn't see as much of it at NAFSA, but certainly here, uh, this uh, profession, there's been a lot of uh, newcomers. We did see in the, the attendance figures at NAFSA, 40% uh, were newcomers uh, to the field or to, uh, to the NAFSA conference. And uh, there are here at uh, International ACAC a good number of first timers as well, mostly uh, younger professionals so who are just starting out in their jobs, might be coming to institutions that had uh, lost some uh, senior leadership in international education or international missions that are now taking uh, their place. Uh, and becoming the new experts uh, and having to come to these conferences to kind of learn that, get that expertise that they sorely need to do well in this profession. So really encouraged to see uh, so many new faces. Uh, it's sad in one way that a lot of those senior leaders uh, are no longer attending, college counselors who retired, and that's just a natural part of the business. But certainly you see, um, see a lot of new energy in the field. And as someone who's been coming to these for 20 plus years, it's, uh, it's really uh, good to see that the, in the industry, our profession is refreshing itself as it should. Uh, and that uh, some new talent is coming in uh, with some energy and enthusiasm to really take things to the next level. Uh, so the sessions, there's one on the Great Resignation. There's one, there are a couple of three sessions I'm working with, uh, with the Haley Group. Haley Group, um, that's high, high ability, low income students. Um, Rebecca Ziegler Mano, an old colleague from Education USA, who's started her own uh, USAP uh, school in Zimbabwe, and is uh, looking to create uh, a series of these schools across Africa and the world. Uh, they had their first graduating class, just caught up with her at the fair. Uh, she's doing really well and uh, she'll be doing sessions on that. Um, ref there's a session on refugee students and accounting for them, certainly with what's happened in Afghanistan and Ukraine in the past uh, year. Uh, we certainly see the need and the volume of refugee students growing uh, that are looking for places and uh, certainly the colleges and institutions that attend a school like NAC. Uh, like a, that attend a conference like International AC here are going to be those that are uh, kind of well positioned and hopefully willing to support uh, these kinds of students coming to the campuses. Uh, we're also seeing sessions a lot on, on technology as you, as you can imagine and how that the good and the bad side of that impacting the college counseling side as well as the University admissions side. So some interesting conversations going around on those topics as well. So uh, when we talk about the return of these kinds of conferences, there's still in some, some people's eyes, there's uh, still some fear and some um, kind of uh, in terms of wearing masks and certainly totally okay with and understand where they're coming from on that. But you, you see some hesitation of people just out of practice, frankly, with, uh, with going to conferences like this. And, uh, had a couple people comment to that effect that uh, I'm so out of practice, out of out of, out of shape for these kinds of events, and it does take some getting used to again. But uh, when you think about the importance of these personal connections, and certainly that's reflected in a lot of uh, student data that we see, is that uh, out of the pandemic, they're 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 not 
though they've appreciated having the opportunities to still connect with institutions virtually, to continue to do that on a, for an extended period of time is not something is not the ideal. Uh, but we're seeing uh, seeing university reps and college reps also get tired of that. College counselors are getting tired of that to scheduling all the, all the various virtual events. So it's interesting to see where where the profession is going on those on those notes. And some of these sessions are really really touching on a lot of those key uh, key issues. So uh, very excited about what we've been able to see so far uh, with the conference uh, today. Uh, and some great sessions coming up. Um, and for those that haven't been to an international ACAC conference, uh, they, this conference is perhaps the most social conference you'll ever go to. Uh, most of the attendees are wearing shorts and polos and uh, are very relaxed attire. Obviously, it's, uh, it's 90 degrees in, in the shade and uh, uh, the heat of the day a little bit later on, but uh, it's, it's a warm conference for a lot of moving in between buildings to, to go to sessions. So we're seeing, um, uh, it's always been a relaxed conference since I've, since I've been coming since the late 90s and it continues to be that. Uh, and that, that's, that's an important uh, uh, thing to know and to appreciate about this event. And it's not all formal uh, and a lot of times you need to have those kind of informal conversations and those are some of the best you can have at these kind of uh, uh, in-person events is those informal conversations. So uh, what I've seen um, in talking to colleagues that are eager to get back out on the road, there's uh, still some travel travel frustrations in terms of flights. Uh, the ex expense of some of these flights is, is, is almost prohibitive. And certainly it's, it's probably gonna limit uh, a lot of where institutions can go this fall. But we're definitely seeing uh, an eagerness to get back out on the road. Uh, and colleges, uh, the college counselors that represent the international schools are certainly eager to have uh, people back visiting. Uh, so we're, we'll, we're having, we'll have a few, few more conversations during the course of the next two days uh, with some of those college counselors and with the university reps that'll be hitting the road uh, to help us um, uh, with, uh, as, we, as we look to build uh, programs and strategies to, to continue to grow uh, and meet our future needs internationally. So that's all we have for you today. We don't, we're not going to go the full half hour uh, being live on campus. So I want to get back to the sessions and see how they finish up. Uh, we're talking about the positive sides of technology and what, what it can bring for you. But uh, do wish you all the very best uh, in what you do and hope that uh, you're able to, uh, to get to some of these virtual events or in-person events in the coming weeks and months. And uh, certainly we'll be connecting again uh, the first week in August. Uh, from the Education USA Forum, uh, as that will be taking place in DC with uh, 500 plus uh, university reps, 50 uh, advisors, and all of the REACTs will be attending. So looking forward to, to that event, next in-person event. So until uh, next week, where we'll be back in the home office uh, for, uh, with our, our in next in-person chat. Thanks to all of you who've been subscribing to the newsletter, uh, particularly the LinkedIn newsletter. Uh, it's been, we're well over 700, 700 subscribers to the newsletter. And uh, I know many of you uh, look forward to either watching on repeat uh, the lives that we do or catching us on the podcast. So we're, we appreciate you being a part of our uh, SMIE consulting family. So thanks so much for your time today, and we'll definitely be catching up with you in the weeks to come. Take care. Cheers.